Hello everybody, welcome back to another flyout video because you guys are absolutely loving the flyout content on the channel so far. So today I thought I'd actually listen to my comments and build what you guys want me to do. And the majority of you guys wanted me to build a A10 Warthog and that is definitely what we're going to be doing today. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so going into this build, I have actually uh, chosen to do a blueprint because the A10 is a very unusual shape. And uh, using this blueprint, these two dimensional blueprints that I just got off the internet, we can start building the shape of the fuselage. Now, obviously going in, grabbing the fuselage and just changing the shape to the right size. I actually found it really easy with this blueprint. I don't know why, but it just makes things so well, it's kind of obvious. It's a blueprint. It's going to help you. But I kind of just followed the little black lines and segments and I did that until I had the entire fuselage. So the tail and the nose shape, I think I got it really spot on this time. But yeah, looks really good so far. Uh, we're getting there. And once I did the nose, uh, obviously doing the canopy next, because I think that's the second hardest shape to do, is just getting the canopy out of the way. Another tedious process in making all of these segments and loops look nice, but once you actually commit to the shape, it looks really nice. And you can actually make it even more round um, with the illusion of adding more and more loops and segments. But that's looking okay. So I think it's time to turn all of this material into glass. To do that, we just do the drop down assigned material. We can get a really nice glass going. And obviously I did the same to the interior. Uh, obviously we don't want that metal sheet going through Pilot Jimmy here. So I changed it all to the whole material. And then it's just a, uh, a tedious process of changing the alignments. So everything fits nice and snugly to the actual canopy. Okay, so now we are on to the wings. Look at that. So I just used the blueprints, get the shape right. And then once I did that, I needed to make these little like round tubes on the wings, which actually house the landing gear. So uh, let's just get those on really quick. These were quite easy to do, actually. Just a little bit of a round tube looking thing. And then we can add our second wing. And I wanted to put this one on as quick as possible get the shape down and actually give it a little bit of an angle like the real a10 it has like a five to seven degree angle or something like that so you can see that the wing is kind of tilted up so that was uh quite nice to do i also added those tiny little struts or whatever underneath the wings that attach to missiles and weaponry but obviously we're moving on to the tail now so i just got i just kind of just sp speed ran this tail Copying down the shape, I move the tail towards the blueprint to get the shape accurate as I can and then I can just move the tail back out onto the ends and that's looking really great. The shape is really coming together. What do you think guys? I'm thinking I'm doing a really good job on this. Now that that's done, it's time to add these tiny little connectors that connect to the fuselage and the two twin turbine engines. So uh, this shape was pretty difficult, but I think I managed to get there in the end. Just add in some more segments. I wanted this to be more square than anything. And then it has this little curved bit at the end, which I really struggled to do actually, because you can't curve the shapes. So it's more of a straight line, if anything, but I think that's okay. So let's just give that a save. And I think it's time to start working on the engines, the big turbines. So grabbing a fuselage shape, really perfect. All I gotta do is shrink it down to the right shape. Let's just snap that on there like so. And the, the rest is just copying the blueprint. Light work, guys. If you get fly out, definitely use this method. This made my building process like 100% faster and everything. You can just copy the right angles, shapes, get all the segments down. If you get a really nice blueprint like I did, it really, really adds to the build. It makes it as accurate as possible. And then it's just a case of adding the right engines, putting in these engines in, uh, making sure they're the right size. Uh, I did a very good job, I think, getting these to be inside of there and kind of wrapping the fuselage around um, the engines. But now it's time for the main part, the part where we add the 30 ca mil cannon. This thing is a crazy. So I put my ammo inside. Um, I got a little bit of a, a nice shape. The uh, on the A10, the 30 mil is a little smaller. Um, <laughs> so my cannon's actually a little bigger on the blueprint. 
but that's okay. Once we get our landing gear down, I can just put the rear ones on, just test if that fits in there nicely, and it does, of course. We can start adding our payloads. So we ended up putting six uh, heat-seeking missiles on this, two AGMs, and some rocket pods, and yeah. This thing is fully ready to go to war. Like, air to ground, it's over. But yeah, let's just air, making sure everything's really nice and snug to the wing. I think it's time to start doing our customizations. So all I gotta do now is change the canopy to whatever color I want. And I think I'll let you guys watch me do a montage of me painting the plane. people we are here the a10 is finished and we are already going for some reason oh <laughs> okay as you can see i got a little flight stick camera here because i want you guys to be able to see me actually pilot this thing with a flight stick okay well we definitely need to restart we've completely lost our tail yeah so oh oops we're dead <laughs> i don't play a lot of simulator games a lot but here we go let's take off in this thing oh my god oh my god we're, we're having a howler Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, we're in the air. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so what I need to do is put the landing gears in. Just figure out my little weight issues because this is, it's its a nice plane, but uh, I don't know. I think the thrust is too high. I don't know. I tried my best with this. I hope you guys are proud of me. Okie dokie. So landing gears are in. Let's get a better camera. Also, I have a quick surprise for you guys, too. Let me show you this quick surprise. I have made 
a interior. So I actually have a hood display with this thing here. And uh, like if I roll, you can see the dials work. They show me my speed. I have this screen here, which I'm assuming is for like a camera. I don't have a camera on this thing. Um, but yes, this is, this is as cool as it gets in Flyout. So let's actually showcase the capabilities of the A10 here. I'm assuming we are in, a, in the follow cam. Okay, let's get in the follow cam. Zoom in a little bit. And I know you guys want to see the burt. So let's show you that. Let's go down. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. We're just going to shoot at the ground. There's our 30 millimeter cannon. Oh my God, it sounds so nice. <laughs> this is as cool as it gets, guys. Let me move this mouse cursor. There we go. All right, also, we also have a bunch of different weapons. So I press tab here. We got our infrared missiles, which I can launch by pressing this red button here. There we go. It shows me the little projectile information there on the side. Let's launch them all. If we switch weapons again, we have rocket pods, which those are pretty sick, dude. Yeah, wow. I don't know how much ammo you get in them. Okay, we're out. We're out of ammo. And then tab again, I have the AGMs, which is the air ground missiles. These things are big. Uh, off one goes. You really want to be locked onto a target for these to work properly. But this is what we're going to do today, guys. Let's reset our flight. Try and use some yaw to counteract this. Yeah, why are we going to the right? Uh, no, 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 my wing. I just think it's the front wheel. The front wheel is actually offset a little bit. I'm going to show you guys really quick. You see that? I copied the blueprints and the wheel is actually offset. There's a 30 mil cannon there. That kind of makes sense, actually. Let's get our landing gear back in. And we're going to use this flight stick today to take on some AI targets. So if I go here into this little menu, we can go into the spawn menu. And we can spawn in a tank, an SAM, and a, a target drone. So let's spawn in a few tanks and a few drones. Maybe a couple SAMs. There we go. Close that menu, and around us should be a bunch of targets. So there's some drones and tanks. Let's take out the tanks first. Let's see the full capabilities of our A-10 here. We'll do some first person too, guys. Don't you worry. It's just crazy that I actually built this entire A-10, and now I'm flying it with a flight stick, which is really simple to do. All you do is go into your settings, you can set your controls, basically. I think we try and take it on with a 30 mil. The entire A-10 is based on that 30 mil. So I'll push down a little bit. The only problem with this A-10 is the fuel. I don't have a lot of fuel. I only have five minutes of flight in full thrust. I can actually slow down a little bit, get some more time. There you go. I think that works nicely. Actually, I'm going to actually need to be in first person for this because then I can actually see where my gun is aiming. Okay, nice. All right, coming to the target. It's kind of fiddly, the controls. Come on, come on. Let's get this tank. I think we're close enough. Yes! What a shot! We did it! Nice! We can head out of here now. Let's get that pretty camera again. When I used the F-22, I used a really nice camera, which was this flyby camera. There we go. Got some flares too. Woo! Unfortunately, I don't think my A-10 can go mock. There's just too much on it. <laughs> All right, what should we take on next? Let's try and get to another tank. Damn, they're so far away. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun with this flight stick. I wish we could do this with trail makers. Imagine hooking up a flight stick to trail makers and flying your jets around in spaceships. That would be so dope. Oh, so cool. All right, I got one minute, 30 seconds to get to one of these tanks. I do not think I'll be able to get there. We've got a lock, three, two, one. Launch! Go get him! Come on! Please! That's it. That's- that's- he's gone. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom! Target down. Alright, we're just gonna use our uh, infrared missiles on this tank. No, rocket pods actually. Rocket pods. Rocket pods are so satisfying. Yeah, I'm pitching up a lot now because of the uh, the fuel. Oh, what? I got shot down by a Sam. No way. I've just launched them all. Screw it. 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, we're definitely gonna crash. Uh oh. Oh no, we're good, we're good. I spent an entire day doing this, guys. So uh, I hope you guys are happy. I feel like we just keep going. Let's keep making fly up videos as well as the trail makers multiplayers. And uh, let's see what else you guys come up with down below. I wanna, what's next on the agenda for, for building in fly out? What plane should I do next? Because now we've tackled the F-22 and a pretty accurate A-10 Warthog, if you ask me. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me making the A-10. Um, yes, it was really fun to do, and especially with those blueprints, they helped so much. If you enjoyed this video, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.